y'all. I'm C. And I'm Britt. <laughs> and today, well, tonight, I am going to do some Halloween makeup. What's up, y'all? I want to jump right into it. The first face I'm going to do is my fawn face. And you see, I'm putting my L'Oreal 24 Hour Pro Glow Foundation all over my face. I got this from CVS. Next, I got my Heart Candy. It is an eye palette, just a blush palette. I got it from um, Walmart out of the Halloween makeup section. So it's like really cheap, but it's very good. It wasn't too sensitive on my skin. Um, I used the white. It actually came out pink, but I went with it because it kind of turned it into a glam fawn. So I was really okay with it but what you want to do with this is just put it under your eyes over your forehead maybe your nose just wherever you want to see like the glamorous pop next i'm going to grab my covergirl true blend palette and it's like a blush palette and i'm going to use the brown one that's kind of close to my skin tone to just lighten up those like facial structures as you can see i'm putting them on my cheekbones and i put it on um just just right above on the jawline the cheekbones just to make them deeper um, next, I'm going to grab my eyeliner, any eyeliner. I got this from CVS. Um, I outline my nose area. That's where you're going to be coloring in. It's going to be the most black um, besides your lip. But what you want to do is outline it, then color it in all the way completely. Just the tip of your nose, right above the nostrils and all the way over and down. And all the way down that crease that's right above your top lip, you want to draw a line down. You're going to go in with a deeper dark black color to make it a little darker. Next, I just want to do my eyes. I'm going to do my basic makeup. Yes, the eyeliner underneath the eyes. And then I get my natural eyeshadow palette. I got this from Forever 21. And I'm going to use like this goldish natural color and just put it on my eyelids, on both eyelids to just make it, you know, just a natural tone, makeup, nothing too much because, you know, I already got the pink. It was supposed to be white, <laughs> but I already got the pink all over my face. So that is just something natural just to tone it down, but to just make, you know, the glam kind of pop. Next, after this, I'm going to take my white. It's a lasting eye color, like crown, I got from Walmart out of the makeup section. I'm just gonna do small white dots all over my face for the fawn features. You know, they have the little dots all over their face. So I just put it anywhere I felt like it was comfortable, where I liked it at. And next, I'm gonna put it to, yes, glitter explodes, y'all. That was ridiculous. But I got it back <laughs> together and I got adhesive and I'm putting it on my nose. Now I'm taking this glitter and I'm putting it on my eyes and your nose. Now very important about this adhesive, it is very sticky. So wherever you put the adhesive, make sure you're comfortable with where you're putting it because wherever you put the glitter, that's it. Like the adhesive is going to catch it. And <laughs> So if you put your adhesive in a spot you don't like it, you're going to have to fix it because it's ridiculous. Like it's very, very sticky, tacky adhesive. And once you put the glitter on there, it really sticks. So just make sure you put it exactly where you would want it to go. So here I put it on my eyelids because I'm going to draw my eyeliner, my wing line, and I'll put it on my nose. So here you see I got my liquid eyeliner. Again, I got this from Walmart out of the Halloween makeup section. And I'm just gonna do two little cat eye wings on um, my eyelids. And I just do it on both sides where it will meet with the glitter. So it'll give it that kind of like cat eye kind of look because I've always loved deer eyes. For some reason they have that little cat eye look. It's pretty interesting. Um, next, I'm just gonna take my mascara. I have my, I got this from um, CVS actually, and I'm putting it on my eyelashes, just you know, make my eyelashes look big or whatever. And <laughs> here's my ColourPop Black Matte Lipstick I was talking about, it's very, very dark. So I take that and darken up my nose in that crease, and I also do the top lip. Um, and that just creates that fawn look and it just gives it that really dark feature and just brings out my nose in the fawn part of the crease area. Next I have my NYX lip gloss and let's put that all over and there you go guys. That's how you finish it off. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, y'all. My next face is my scarecrow face. And again, I'm putting that L'Oreal um, foundation all over my face again. And again, guys, you can get any of this makeup from your local CVS or Walgreens, any drugstore that has makeup, or even Walmart. Walmart has good prices on makeup. Um, and I got most of my stuff from Walmart and CVS, which is really, really convenient for me. Um, next, I put my eyeliner in my eyes and start off with the basic makeup. And then I want to take this eyeliner and draw out my nose for the Scarecrow nose patch. So I just do the outline and um, next I'm going to take my ColourPop, the black matte ColourPop, the color chick one, and put it over the outline that I drew for the nose to make it a little darker. And this just gives it more definition. I mean, you don't have to do this for part, but you can use even black paint. And Walmart also has black paint. And then I got this color girl, I mean, the cover girl, I'm sorry, cover girl um, crayon. It's an orange one. It's really hard to show up, so I had to color it in really, really dark. But I put that on the nose to um, make the color of my nose orange. You could even do black nose, but I chose orange because I wanted it to be like a really, really shiny nose and um, just make the orange come out. And um, then I drew on my stitches for the patch to make it look like it's patched on with my liquid eyeliner I got from Walmart. A lot of the stuff I got out of the Halloween makeup section, which is really surprising. Next, I take my old Malibu eye um, shadow palette and I take that really, really orangish color and I do my eyes with it, my eyelid. So I just put the eyeshadow on both of my eyes and it really just gives it that nice tone and it blends well with my skin tone. But I just really thought that it was just a nice touch because it really wasn't on the picture as much, but I was like, hey, let's try it out. <laughs> and next I have my darker um, palette. It's the O Hollywood. And I'm using the dark blackish color to do the inner corners of my eyelids just to give it that nice pop to make it look more defined and just really pretty. Then I'll take my eyeliner again and just do that whole wing on um, both sides and um, just make my eyes pop and just make this a glamorous scarecrow. I was going to do a scary one, but it kind of turned out glam. I don't understand. So this part one is going to be all glam cuties. So again, I take my CoverGirl orange crown and I just do two big, really big circles, just two circles on my cheeks to put the cheeks there and then I take my CoverGirl True Blend color palette and I take that lighter pink one and I just put that inside the circles to make them more defined and make them pop more and less oily looking. Um, after this I usually just dance it out. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what I was going to do next but I got my color chick again the matte the color pop and put it all over my lips i like to have black lips with this look i thought it would make it look very well and the next thing i want to do with this lipstick is to extend the corners of my mouth to make that sewn look so i draw two lines out from the corners up to the top of those circles just to where it meets the circle and it looks like like that then I will darken them and go in with my eyeliner, the liquid eyeliner, and draw the stitches. <laughs> yeah, excuse me and Brittany, we were listening to music during this whole video, so you'll see us doing some crazy stuff. But next I want to take my eyeliner and I just draw random um, stitches all over my face, and there you go, y'all, that's majority of the things that you would want to do the biggest features but the last touch i thought it would be cool to add was the eyelashes the big eyelashes at the bottom i saw it in one pinterest um picture of a scarecrow and i thought it was like, really cool to add so i just added it and made it all like cute but yet kind of gory so that is my face y'all hope you enjoyed it